Hey guys, well, welcome to um, MIT 150, section 0507, fully online class in 2023. So in this video, I just want to go over um, our Blackboard course and I give you some uh, information, general information about our course. Okay, so first of all, when you log on to our Blackboard course, you're going to see the first item here is announcement. Okay, you can read through that. Some so my background information also have like general course guidelines. You can review this information at your convenience. And also I create an intro, intro to Blackboard course web link. It's a YouTube video, so you can use it to get familiar with, the, with our Blackboard course. Also um, register with the homework system. And the Lumen home website we are using is uh, open source platform called Lumen. And you don't have to pay for it, but right? it's free platform. So uh, next thing I want to go over is the syllabus. So if you click on the syllabus, let's open the syllabus really quickly. So again, uh, in the syllabus, you, you have all detailed information uh, for our course. My name, email, office hours, and as soon as I have, I have office hour, I will provide provide that to you guys. So our course name is Introduction to Statistics, Math 150, Semester 4.23, has full credit. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we are using the open source platform called Lumen. So there's a mandatory course material. So basically, all you need is course ID, right? You just copy this course ID. Copy, and then um, down below you're gonna see the web link here. Click on that; it will take you guys to the Lumen website. Then, right here, um, there's an icon here called "Enroll in a New Course." Click on that. And you're gonna type in the enrollment key, right? Which is uh, the course ID. Yeah, just the course ID. Just paste it here, and you don't need the enrollment key. I leave it. You can leave it blank. Then click on enroll. Right, so it's going to double check the information. Math 150, section 0507, fully online, 4223, course ID, and then instructor name. Everything matches. Now you can just enroll, right? And you probably don't have a username and password, so you need to create a username, put in the username, password, confirm password, first name, last name. Email address, right? You can use your personal email address um, if that's more convenient for you. And double check both I, um, options below and click on submit. Then, once you um, submit this information, you get access to our homework platform. Now, let me log in and I'll show you what's, what's in our homework platform. When you log in, go to, go to home and then Click on our course. It's Math 150, Section 0503, fully online, 423. So basically, all the homework assignments um, together with the due date, as well as the quizzes and midterm finals, are located in the in this platform. So if you look at it, you have an orientation homework uh, due on September 4th. And basically, just this orientation homework help you get familiar with the system. And then also each chapter, you're gonna have a homework and a quiz. Um, below it is, is the due date, right? So just follow this. For all the homework, you can try as many times as, as you want. And then the high score will, will be counted. And then for all the quizzes, you can try three times. Also the high score will be counted. And chapter two, very similar, right? Homework, quiz. Uh, so basically, on a weekly basis, you review the lecture videos and also the PowerPoint, and then come back here, work on homework assignments, and also complete a quiz afterwards. Okay. And chapter three, yeah, similar. Four, and then also when you get to the midterm, right? Midterm is due on October 30th. And you can use the practice midterm exam to prepare for the actual midterm. And 
it's it is very useful, right? And also very helpful for you to uh, prepare for the actual midterm. It doesn't count. Practice midterm is not counted towards the final course grade. Um, and then for the midterm, actual midterm, you have two shots, right? And let's say for the first shot, you didn't get a good score. You can go back, practice a little bit, and then uh, redo it. Right? And the highest score will be counted uh, for the final, right? And for chapter six, there are two parts. First part is for the normal distribution, you have homework quiz. Second part is called the central limit theorem, you have homework and quiz. And they both due at the same date, right? Chapter seven, similar um, power has homework quiz. Okay, part two is about the competent interval for proportion. Part two is about competent interval for the mean. Okay, so you have two parts, they both due at the same date. Right? So, yeah, and then um, for chapter eight, uh, Homo quiz, same thing to chapter 10, homo quiz, also the, the final exam. So the final is due on December 15th, Friday, December 15th. So again, you can use a practice final to prepare for the actual final. And uh, you can take the final twice, and the high score will be counted, right? So that's everything um, in our home platform. And uh, let's continue on the syllabus. So. So you need a, either a scientific calculator or Microsoft Excel, right? Um, you don't need to use both, but uh, you can use both if you want to. Um, and the book is called Essential Statistics, the fifth edition by Mario Triola. And then I post the PDF file of the, of the test book. Um, you can use it for your convenience, right? If you like to read the test book, use it. Also, um, I put put here um, put a formula sheet here. And you need to use a formula sheet throughout the whole semester. And again, you can use the formula sheet for for doing the homework, quizzes, also midterm and finals. And uh, all the formulas are summarized by the chapter, so it's organized by the chapter. And also, um, I just want to point out. Uh, you only need a table A2, right? So it's called Z table or normal distribution table. And so this is table A2, it's in the back of the formula sheet. When you get to chapter six, seven, eight, you need to look up the Z score in the in a formula sheet. Also, table A3, you're going to need it for chapter seven. Okay, it's uh, just right behind the uh, table A2. Okay. Those are the useful uh, things you know I want to mention to you. So in terms of grade distribution, the homework is worth 40% of the final course grade. Quizzes is worth 20%. Midterm the final is worth 20%. Right? So um, that's a cost distribution. We will talk about the descriptive statistics, meaning mean, median, mode, um, measure of center measure of the variations, binomial distribution, normal distribution, and sampling distribution, chi-square distribution, estimation with a confidence interval, correlation regression, and hypothesis testing. Those are the major topics. And if you register with the disability office, just send me an email, and I will provide a proper accommodation. Send me an email. Um, identify yourself. Um, so, BMC policy of plagiarism and academic integrity. Uh, just make sure you do all the work. You can help. You can get help for the home assignments, but you get to complete the quizzes and then midterm finals independently right, by yourself. And all our topics, the night chapter covered in. Uh, throughout the semester, chapter one, introduction to statistics, chapter two, organizing and analyzing data, chapter three, measure of center variations, chapter four is probability, chapter five, discrete probability distribution, chapter six, 
normal distribution is centrally in theorem. Chapter 7, confident intervals. Chapter 8, hypothesis testing. Chapter 10, regression and correlation. Uh, in general, in previous contact, MATLAB S535 is located in the main building, S535. If you need tutoring service, complete the coursework on time, email me if you have any question. Since this is fully online class, you do not meet on a weekly basis. So you can always send me an email and respond to your e email within 24 hours. And I hope you enjoy the course. Okay. And next thing I want to point out is I create a, a course guide for you guys. Um, so about a due date for each chapter is listing on the course guide. You can follow this closely. And uh, like weekly home assignments on the lumen, everything are listed in the course guide. Review this and uh, also help you uh, get through the course successfully. Yeah. Okay. And also I have all the lecture videos and also the PowerPoint. It's organized by the folder here. So here on um, August 25, that's the first day. So you're gonna go over the orientation section, review the syllabus course guide, um, register on it. Uh, I should update this. This is not a, I haven't updated this. I'm gonna update this really quickly. What I mean here is review the 423 20, 20, syllabus cost time and register on the boomer. Excel. So log into Blackboard and familiar with the cost contents. Okay, that's what you are responsible on week, week one. And uh, starting on week two, right? Uh, you need to start working on the content. So have all the PowerPoint together with the lecture videos. So on a weekly basis, you should review the PowerPoint and then lecture videos one by one, and then go on to the room and work on the home assignments. Okay. Um, and again, if you feel like uh, sometimes you need help or understand the, some contents, you can go to seek help, right? Go to Math Lab, get some tourist service, or you can come to my office hour if you want to talk to me. I will provide office hour as soon as I finalize that with the with the department. So the, usually the office hour will be, will be conducted via Zoom. And yeah, so that's all the lecture videos. And it's organized by the chapter. You won't miss it. So just click on it, you will see all the lecture videos and then PowerPoint. You can click on the PowerPoint and go to the um, lecture videos from there. So that's pretty much everything in our Blackboard course. So use these resources wisely and seek help if you encounter some difficulty. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the class and feel free to email me. Um, if you have any questions.